Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you two new figures from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> yes, from the Legend series, Marvel Legend series. Yes. Um and we have these are from the new movie. Yeah. That is coming out, out very very soon um as of the making of this video. So when you watch this it might already be out. Mm -hmm. Um, so today we have Master Mordo and Marvel's Wong. So we and they have two. Uh, they have build a figure pieces to let's check it out. Yes, they're gonna build Rintra. So there's um, there's the really cool. I like how they did that. You know the, I don't know. It just looks really cool on the front. Yeah. Um, and then he ha he comes with extra hands that have magic. Yeah, magic hands. And then he's got an extra one right there too. Yeah, I guess I'm guessing that's his. And then he's got a sword. Um, he looks really cool. The colors and everything look really cool. Yeah. Really good on him. There's a little bit of his bio. Oh, it says Wong takes over for the Ancient One as Sorcerer Supreme and leader of Karmartage. Oh, Karmartage. Kamar yeah. Karmartage. Teaching a new era of sorcerers to protect our reality from mystical threats. So, very cool, really cool artwork on the back. And then there's the um, different other figures in the set and the ones that can build Rintar. Rintra. Yes. <laughs> I want to say Tar, so bad. <laughs> um, so, there you have, um, let's see, how many more do we need to build him? Uh, three, I believe. All right, so stay tuned because we are trying to build uh, Rintra. All right, let's take a look at the back of Master Mordu's box well first of all he comes with um yeah two sets of extra hands and then um some for the rentra figure and there he is very cool says mordo has gone rogue since leaving kamartage am i saying mm -hmm. that right kamartage uh hunting other sorcerers for breaking the law of reality is never far off the trail of dr strange very cool all right and then, of course, same figures. So we're going to go ahead and get Master Mordo. Do? Mordo. <laughs> Master Mordo and Marvel's Wong out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and there they are, looking pretty cool out of the box. Uh, let's go ahead with... Mordo? Yes. You going to take a look at... Okay. Here. Give, <laughs> give me a hand. <laughs> Yeah, so here's um, Rentra's, um, I think they're trying to steal the show. Hold on, let me, there we go. Uh, Rentra's arm, and we put his other fist in there, so he's got an open fist and a closed fist, which I think is the same thing that the um, that the other figure is going to come with. The yeah, other arm. Yeah, I think arm. it looks like, looks like they're pretty much the same. Yeah. Just opposite. And we were talking about, he had cartoon. Yes, yeah, so he's only got four fingers. A thumb and three fingers. <laughs> So there you go, pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you this one. Um, same, same thing, other arm. So fist and grippy hand. All right, and then Some we have hands. extra hands. <laughs> so many hands. Give me a hand. So he's got the um, uh, pinch of salt hands. <laughs> yes. The ones that have just a little bit. Um, there you go. Have almost like a trigger finger or something. Um, that's yeah i think there, there's two of that and then two of the closed fist hand so probably one of those is the gripping ones are probably so he can hold his yes his so baton or he has a really cool baton with a lot of uh some detailing on there on the handle oh sorry on the handle there and as well as on the stick part the middle part so that's really cool all right. And he also has a crossbow. So, um, and it looks like he's loaded up. That doesn't really look like a, um, like an arrow. It looks like something kind of different. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe we'll find out in the movie. We shall find out for sure. And then there's Mordo. There he is. So here's his facial sculpt. It looks really cool. It looks very realistic. He definitely he has some scars on his forehead, and um, check out this hair. Great detailing in the hair, long hair. Um, and then his 
um, cape, robe, jacket, however you want to call it. I guess it's not really a cape. It does have arm armholes to it and sleeves. But he does have these puffy sleeve parts, um, shoulders that come out. Um, and then he does have some wraps around, or is it gauntlet type things on his arm. Um, and I like his, his gold is not, it's more like a muted yellow gold. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, he does have some detailing right here on this and on the other side. He also has some, that muted gold piece right here. It kind of fits around him. It does not, it really is stuck like it's not rubbery. It doesn't come off of there. Um, but great detailing here through the waist. And look at that. Is that none? Is that, um... Looks like brass knuckles or something, right there. Yeah, I don't know if that's his. I want to. I don't know if it's his sling ring, the, the uh -huh. thing that he holds and creates portals. Could be. Um, and then he's th these pieces are rubbery to give him more uh, motion and from the waist down. He's got these really cool boots with golden thing uh, buckles across them, and then yeah, all the detailing in his shoes and boots really cool he's even got this piece hanging down here with all the different textures in that piece and so there's the back and it's swooshed to the side as if partially in motion but there's definitely a ton of textures on here yeah hope it's picking all up for you to see so you want to show off his articulation okay both of these should have the same articulation so what's on him should also be on on uh, long, so he's got uh, head articulation, so he can go back and forth. He can uh, look down and up to straight forward. The hair is going to limit him from looking up. Um, he does have good range of motion at the shoulders, and they will rotate as well as extend. He has the uh, single elbow joint, but it does rotate in addition to uh, bending and then they have the double wrist so they can uh, bend as well as twist so he has the uh, um, the waist articulation it's like a little bit different it's you can see it kind of allows him to bend forward and go side to side all in one piece which is pretty cool uh, he has good range of motion at the hips, um, he has the upper thigh swivel. He has the double knee, the top of the boot or mid calf, top of the boot, dear, and the ankle. So and it will roll as well as pivot. So very cool. He's great looking figure, and can't wait to see what he's going to do in the movie. All right, now let's take a look at Wong. So let's take a look at his uh, facial sculpt. Looking pretty cool there. The camera's like trying to focus on his face and his hands outstretched. Um, and then he's got his really cool magic hands, we call them. Um, I love all the detailing on yes, there. Yes, look at that. So cool. We were teasing saying he's holding the pizza. Yes. It's like, oh, who ordered the large cheese pizza? <laughs> <laughs> but um, super fun. Um, as you can tell, these are, he attached one of the magic hands. So, and then this was one of the hands that came on it. Like a spell um, casting. Yes. And then he also has a gripping. Oh yeah, gripping I need to show those. So I'll show those sword. off in a second. Um, and so let's take a look at his robe and then I'll show off his accessories. I kind of jumped the gun, but, um, he's got the yellow, purple, orange. He's got some really interesting colors, um, that are color kind of, um, total opposite of, of more does. More does, yeah. Yeah. And um, he's got the different... I love how they do all, so many layers around the waist. Yeah. Um, and then he's got a really cool texturing and pattern. Uh, if you can see it through the top of his um, outfit. Robe. And then the back. That's really cool. You know, that gives me um, Mulan vibes. Yeah. Um, the col You know, just the colors and this hanging right. down right here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, looks really cool just the, the the style that it is and then he has some golden gauntlets as well on his arms um so i like the the color choice and patterns looking really cool through here 
His pants are like um, up right here, like the pants legs are yeah, up yeah. Um, in the center. And so maybe that's what, uh, how he'll be able to move his ankle a little bit more. Not really sure. And this is rubbery, but it probably will hinder his leg articulation. But, and I'll let you show that off. Um, but before we do, I'll show you. Here's the other spell casting hand. So, very cool. And then his awesome sword with the white handle, the details, and the gold. And then he comes with the other spell casting hand, which was on him. Um, and then a grippy hand, so he can actually grip his sword. So a total of five hands. And I guess they're assuming he's right-handed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe he has always been right-handed. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at his, art, his, at his articulation. Um, I thought it was pr pretty much going to be the same as Mordo, but there actually are some differences. Um, so he has the same neck articulation. Actually, if you look, I don't think Mordo has that. Um, his actual hit neck twists as well. Mm. So, like, he actually has a point at the neck and a point at the head. So he can look um, down much more as well as up, which is really cool. Um, he does have great articulation at the shoulder. That is the same. He has the bicep swivel and double elbow rather than the um, single bendable or twistable elbow that Mordo does. So he can he does have greater range of motion at the elbow. They both have the um, they both have the double wrists, and he also has that interesting new. Uh, waist pivot too so it's he can twist and bend all in one um, one point of articulation um, his his robes are gonna uh, really limit his uh, his um, hips hip articulation yes <laughs> um, but he can see he does have the uh, the upper thigh it's kind of hard to get in there and and get it but you can see he does have the uh, the upper thigh pivot. He has a single knee joint, um, which is also going to be greatly hindered by the robe. But it does pivot as well as as bend. And then, of course, the ankle. And it does still have pretty decent range of motion, and it yeah. will it will roll. So very cool. All right, and there we have. Master Mordo and Wong from Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange <laughs> in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> so uh, we're hoping to see this really, really soon. Uh, maybe we'll have seen it by the time this video goes Could live. Be. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.